fellow member of our education team is live in Pearland tonight with what the school and parents are saying about this. Keith? Christine, Chris, as the sign behind me says, they miss their students here on campus at Pearland Junior High East, but it's a quiz online that is raising eyebrows tonight. You know, there's no doubt about it that it's real. COVID is real. People are getting sick and some are dying. We take precaution, you know, as much as we can. Despite the seriousness of the disease, there are people who remain highly skeptical of the reported case numbers, positivity rates, and other related statistics. But is the coronavirus a scam? Why was she asking her students that in the first place? What was she trying to get out of it? That was a question asked by a science teacher at Pearland Junior High East. Seen here, it was posed in a quiz given to a class on the district's Canvas Learning Management System. True or false were the answer choices, and for those who said false, they got the answer wrong. The quiz raised a bit of a firestorm online when it went viral. That's the kid's opinion, so it's, I mean, it's not a right or wrong answer. I can see if it was part of like a project or something to get a conversation started, which obviously it did. You know, that might be something that could be constructive. Um, but if she was trying to prove some kind of personal point or some kind of agenda, then maybe not. In a statement to Channel 2, the school's principal said the teacher was simply familiarizing students with the Canvas learning management system. He added the teacher's intent was to spark conversation. It was not to imply the virus is not serious or to make any political stance. The question has since been taken down. And back here live, all the people we spoke to said that they did not understand why the question was a true or false question, but all said that if the teacher wasn't trying to make some sort of political statement, then they are willing to give that teacher a pass. Reporting live from Pearland, Keith Garvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Keith, thank you. Now